All right, YouTube, this is my Winchester Model 1890. It's chambered in 22 short. Can only safely cycle 22 short. They were made in 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle, and 22 Winchester Magnum. Um, this one is 22 short only. They use a tubular magazine for the 22 short. This magazine holds 15 rounds. Load them here. The magazine goes in here. So we go until we can see the follower. Pull back one round after another, drops down this tubular magazine until we have 15. Then we can go ahead and lock the magazine back in. We pull it out. Double check. It is clear. There are no rounds. Now, this is the second version of the Model 1890, which has a takedown screw. The first model had a takedown pin, meaning it wasn't really a takedown model, as you have to punch the pin out. This one dates to 1908, as per the serial number, and that puts it at 105 years old. It still works flawlessly. I run CCI normally, high velocity. 22 short rounds. They claim, CCI claims, 1,080 feet per second. Uh, I don't know if that's out of this length barrel or a shorter length barrel. I believe this is a 24 inch barrel. I'd have to double check it, maybe a 26. Um, these are wonderful rifles. Pump action, no disconnector. So, of course, if you hold down the trigger and pump the action, you're going to get what's called a slam fire. As soon as the chamber is full with a cartridge, that cartridge is going to go off. It means you can fire this just about as quickly as you can a semi-automatic. A little bit slower, but not by much. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart for you. Well, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you. The other thing about this, um, since it's so old, it doesn't have any normal safeties that we would think of. The only safety is the hammer in the half cock position. At half cock, I cannot pull the trigger, I cannot move the action. That is the safety. When I release it from half cock, action cycles just fine, trigger pulls just fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and break this down for you. One screw does the trick. Two parts come apart. This is the upper receiver in action, barreled with the magazine tube and the pump, or the pump handle, I should say. This is the lower receiver and elevator assembly, along with the stock. I'm going to show you here. This particular stock, or this particular action, the way it works is we have this elevator assembly. When it's down like this, this cavity is open to our magazine, our magazine tube. So what happens is the spring pressure from the magazine and follower drops around in here, just like that. Being as this is a 22 short, you see the nose sits right there at the end. If this was chambered for 22 long, where this ledge ends, and you can see light through there, would be cut back further. If it was chambered for 22 long rifle, it would be cut back even further. Since it's 22 short, that's how it fits. What happens is the action gets pumped, this comes up, all right, the extractor comes down this channel and pushes the round forward. And once it gets chambered, the extractor hooks on to the edge of that rim, since this is a rim fire case. Now, when you go to pump it back out, this case is sitting here, empty now that we've shot it. The extractor pulls it back, this kicks up, flings the round out of the way, all right, and the round that's been sitting in here in the elevator assembly is then forced forward when we pump the action back forward, and pump the uh, pump handle uh, to the forward position. 
So that's how this whole assembly works here. The upper receiver assembly, I cannot move unless I depress the firing pin. Once the firing pin is depressed, I can move this. So that's how the half cock safety works. The half cock safety, the hammer is no longer on the firing pin mechanism, therefore it is locked in and you cannot move the action. Here you can see the cavity where the elevator assembly would work to chamber around into that chamber there. Hopefully that'll be clear in the video. But it's not looking super clear on screen right now. Anyway, so that there is our chamber where the round would be chambered into. And pump it back forward, there would be a round in there, it would be live, pull the trigger, hammer falls on the firing pin, firing pin hits the rim of the case, since it's a rim fire, that is where the primer is, uh, it lights off the powder, and out comes the projectile from the other end of the barrel. Now, we do have a hexagonal barrel, pretty very beautiful. The superseding model, I believe is the 62 or the 63, had a round barrel instead of an octagonal barrel. I'm going to try and show you these sights. They are open sights, as you can see there, but it is still a very accurate rifle. I can keep my groups within an inch at 50 yards, and I can hit paper pretty much six to eight shots out of 15 on a day that's not too windy at 100 yards which is a pretty good feat for a 22 short um, so that's my Winchester 1890 um, I hope this was an informational video for you I hope you gleaned some information and uh, if you ever get a chance to pick one up check it out try it out I suggest you do I hope you like this video if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe. There will be more videos coming. Um, I don't know what kind of quality this video is going to be because it was a new camera and I may be using a different camera in the future. Um, here to learn 442. Thanks for watching.